everybody. Uh, welcome to my very first Lula vlog. I think that's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it my Lula vlog. Um, I am really excited because I just submitted my paperwork and I submitted it on my birthday. June 22nd, 2016. Happy birthday to me. Not only was it like my birthday, it was like the birth of something new in my life. I don't know, that sounds really cheesy, but it's kind of true. <laughs> I know I have like a while until I get that call saying, you're ready, like you're ready to onboard, let's go. Um, I know I have a while until then, but you know what, there's a lot I need to do until then. And the first thing I need to do is clear out my guest room, um, which we plan on doing tomorrow. Start doing tomorrow. We're going to start pulling out the carpet. Um, there's like the original hardwood floors that are under the carpet, under these carpets. And if I had the money, I would totally like have them refinished and all that good stuff. But I just, I don't. <laughs> I don't have the money for that. I feel like with the wood floors, it'll just be so much nicer in there. Um, I just love wood floors. I don't like that. I gotta get a new desk, which is another thing my husband said to me was, um, well, I asked him, I was like, what do you think of that desk in there in the guest room? Do you think I need a new one? Of course. He's like, no, you know, it's fine. I went in there yesterday. That thing is like falling apart. <laughs> it's like barely standing, staying together. So I don't know what he was thinking, but um, I need a new desk. And it, it, the one in there is like a Big Lots desk that I got for like forty dollars. So I'm not, I'm not too heartbroken about it. I'm really not. It's fine. What else? Clothes racks. I think I already said I need clothes racks. I'm not worried about that. Those are, those are pretty affordable. Um, I know I need bins, um, which I've heard people say that you can get them from like Ikea. I'm going to look some more on Amazon for that, and um, what else? What else do I need? I have like a list of things in my head that um, I know I needed, and now I'm like, I'm like, I can't think right now. Oh, I need a mannequin, which I found a really cheap one on Amazon. It's not really a mannequin mannequin. It's like a plastic, oh God, I don't even know what to call it. I just know that I used to work with them a lot when I worked um, in retail a really long time ago in Torrid when I worked there. I worked there for like a few months. And, um, they have a hanger. There's like a hanger on the top of it. And what's really cool about that is like, it's also going to save space, and they're really cheap. They're so much cheaper than a, a mannequin. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably get that instead. I like that option better. And it also, the torso is more like a woman's torso. It's not very cut and dry. Like the body of this is like a woman, and I like that a lot. And it's longer, which um, I could fit more things onto it, which is awesome. So I'm really excited about. And I know when the time comes and um, when I, uh, when that moment comes and when all the clothes and stuff start arriving, I know I'm going to be like, oh my god, I need this, I need that, I need to do this, blah, blah, blah. Right now I'm just like, I'm more concentrated on getting the, the, that stuff out of there. And there's not a lot of stuff in the guest room, but, you know, it's fine. Let me tell you about me. Um... I live in North Carolina. I have a bachelor's degree in gerontology, which for those of you who do not know what that is, that is elder studies, like older people, old people, um, older adults. And um, I'm currently wearing on my master's degree in gerontology as well. Um, and I work at a nursing home as slash assisted living as an activities assistant. I am only there part time. And, um, yeah, that's, that's me. That's me in a nutshell. I'm married and, um, 
I'm originally from Maryland, and uh, I miss Maryland a lot, but yeah, this is where we ended up. My husband was in the Marine Corps, and he got out um, in 2013, and um, we've been here ever since, so yeah, that's me. What's so funny is like, I was home in Maryland um, over the weekend, well not this weekend, but last weekend, and I'm sorry, I'm really sniffly. I allergies are terrible right now. I was uh, visiting my parents and um, I, had, I took a day to clean out my old childhood closet and I found all my sketches because I like to draw it. I found, I probably drew this when I was like 15 or 16. I'm 26 now. And it was a boutique. It was like a clothing boutique that I drew that I wanted to do. And, um, you know, it just goes to show that, like, I haven't changed. Like, fashion, for those of you who know me, fashion and art have always been a big part of my life. And, um, you know, to, to do this, to start LuLaRoe is, I'm really excited. I'm super excited. It's like, you know, I, I feel like I'm getting a second chance because way back, way back when, um, I, uh, before I decided to get my bachelor's in gerontology, I almost went to New York City, uh, to the Fashion Institute of Technology and got my, um, I, I think it was a bachelor's, I don't know, but I was going to study accessories design, which is like handbags and shoes and whatnot, and, um, I was really excited about that, but then I, the last minute I was just, I didn't do it. And to this day, in the back of my mind, I'm like, what if? Regret it. It's probably one of my biggest regrets, but um, I feel like now I have a second chance to do something in fashion and show my individuality. Like, I know I'm not designing the clothes, but I can show my passion for them, you know? I want to just inspire people, like, you know, you can still pursue, you know, your goals and your dreams, and that sounds so incredibly cheesy, but, you know, I do feel like I was given a second chance, and, um, you know, I don't want to let anybody down, that's my biggest thing, is I don't want to let my parents down, I don't want to let my husband down, I want to be successful, and, um, I'm taking this very seriously, and because this is a business, so I mean it's fun. It's a lot of fun, but it's also a business. I'm really excited, and um, hopefully next week I will have another video up for everybody um, to show you my Lula room, and hopefully that carpet is gone. Hopefully my husband. Um, I sound so terrible, but hopefully he does it. <laughs> hopefully he takes it out of there, because it's a hard, it's hard work, and you know I'm gonna help take like the bed and everything out of there but <sighs> that carpet is just I, I can't pull carpet up it's hard it's hard work have you ever tried pulling carpet up it's hard work um also I am wearing LuLaRoe by the way in this video not my top but my bottoms these are my Americana unicorn and the woman these are my my unicorns for the Americana collection. I found them in my size, so I'm really excited. Alright, everybody, so I will hopefully be posting next week. Hopefully. Alright, thank you all for watching, and you know, follow my journey. This is big. This is huge. Alright, see you guys. Bye!